Historically, the Gamashi area was known to be the center of commercial and urban life in Accra. Last three decades have seen large-scale investments in the city following the economic reforms and changes such as the shift of Ghana's main port from Accra to Tema. The neoliberal urban bias has encouraged economic investments in suburban areas and therefore has pulled economic activities away from these historical centers. As a consequence, these densely populated areas have been marginalized. This urban bias with increasing migration has led to rates of growth that exceed the city's capacity to handle urban planning, infrastructure and service provision. Each artisanal fishing community is headed by a chief fisherman, followed by the canoe owners and the crew members. The chief fisherman is responsible for settling of any disputes and implementation of customary regulations. For example, Tuesday is considered to be a sacred day for the sea god and therefore has been declared as a no fishing day. Traditionally, the catch is only sold by the fishermen to their female relatives at a pre-fixed price. Therefore, we see that the fish is integrated into the city by the women through the markets. The artisanal fishing communities represent a traditionally and a culturally embedded way of life. The 183 fishing villages on the Ghanaian coast are important as they contribute towards food security nationwide and create livelihoods. They have also shown how building of community ties can lead to social security. For example, when the women act as bankers by lending money to the men or when the canoe owner provides money to his crew members in times of crisis. So far, they have managed to coexist along with the industrial and the semi-industrial fleets introduced in the 60s as a part of the economic reforms. In the end, say that the pollution comes about when the, uh, all the dead in Accra, the plastic waste moves to the sea. So when they cut their net, they think they get some cash. When they, they, they net is up, it's full of plastic waste, pure tyrant base, and can take away, take away, take away. black politics. Now the climate is changed and they also get they, they see it in their fish. Sometimes they get plenty of fish, but now they don't get plenty. What they they are they, they have seen with their eyes is that uh, the people are using light fish and also as far as the, uh, the toilets also fish in some distance but now they are nails to where the fish so they destroy their net and also they also catch too much fish than them so when the light if they when the fishes come around the light they will signal these people and they will start circling their net around where this this guy is and they will catch the so it is destroying the level of the fish fish The 
there's no way, and no way an ordinary fisherman like a canoe owner or a crew can have access to the commission. No way. Because it's a NAFA. The National Fish Association is only industrial people. So if there's a, a representation on a commission where a canoe owner don't have access to that commission, it means policies will be formulated there, but it will, it will not work. So now they've done the law, the law is not working. Because the proper people, the, 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 the people that have to, that will be affected by, by, by those laws were not properly represented. They shouldn't let this fishing industry to die. Yes. I think, as it is, it's left at the messes. At the mercy of what? Its own policy makers and implementers. At the mercy of the industrial fish and the big ones in the economy. If it's going to thrive, it will need protection.